Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So we have a few different things to get to today. All very interesting. A lot of stuff to catch up on here. Uh, the first that I want to briefly talk about is in regards to a photograph that was posted earlier in the week and that I uh, tweeted about uh, last night on Twitter asking people what they thought it was. Now, if you haven't seen this, it was posted to the Lao Country Marine Mammal Network Facebook page with the caption reading, quote, Look at this mysterious object that washed ashore on Seabrook Island today. What do you think it is? And so Seabrook Island is located in South Carolina. And we have this photograph here of this massive uh, circular or sort of um, saucer-shaped object that washed ashore. We have the woman standing next to it. And what they found out about this was that most of the object was made out of foam. So it has what appears to be a metallic inner core. But what you're seeing wrapped around the outside of it are multiple layers of foam some sort of uh, insulation. And so um, there have been a lot of news articles about this. Could it be a UFO? Could it be uh, something from space, something from the ocean? And I've been thinking over the past few days, now some people have said that this may be a part of a rocket, possibly a SpaceX rocket. And it's just a piece of space junk that fell back to Earth. Now, um, that very well may be. That's why I'm posting this to see what you guys think. Now, some other people have stated, and I'm more inclined to think that at least this object from this angle, this looks more to me like one of these massive buoys that have been sighted from time to time out in the ocean. And usually there are hundreds of these things sort of roped together, and I guess they're called pipeline floaters. So when they're laying a pipeline down on the ocean floor, I guess they use these massive foam buoys to float these pipes uh, down in the ocean. And uh, as you guys are looking here, uh, the, the objects here, it, they have a very similar shape to whatever this object is that washed ashore, where it kind of curves up into this cone, flat on the top, uh, and it looks like half of one of these buoys. Um, so... You know, and again, made of foam, washed up in the ocean. What do you guys think? Uh, could it be a part of a rocket? Is it one of these buoys? Is it something else entirely? We just don't know yet. But I, again, I wanted to briefly touch on it to ask you guys, what do you think it is? Put your comments down below and I'll link to an article uh, about this. So now I want to share with you guys a very awesome photograph, actually a video that was emailed to me by a viewer who recently went on live TV in France sporting a very familiar t-shirt. We've gone global, guys. And so this was emailed to me by a man named Cedric, who went on a French talk show where they had this audience, they had this uh, panel of multiple people, and they were discussing aliens and UFOs and Cedric's experiences. And he's almost sitting dead center uh, of this panel, sporting a Secure Team t-shirt, which you guys can find in the online shop, by the way. But um, I thought this was totally awesome. And as it happens, Cedric is not only just a fan of the channel, but I've actually featured some very amazing UFO footage sent in by him and published to his own YouTube channel last year. And so I want to show you guys some of that footage today because many of you may have not seen this video, but he had sent me some footage, multiple pieces of footage that he had captured with his night vision camera. Now, I love night vision UFO footage because these types of cameras are extremely useful in picking up strange and unknown objects moving not only through the sky, but in space. And in a couple of instances, when Cedric has been filming these things, not only will they be moving, will they be reflecting light or flashing light from within, but what was so amazing about this footage was that in some cases, like you're about to see here, these UFOs will actually interact with the camera, sort of zap it, whether it be through some sort of magnetic pulse whatever you want to call it, where it will actually cause the camera to momentarily malfunction. So check out this clip from that original video that I posted back in 2017 of this amazing sighting.
Alright, so another one of these objects giving off what appears to be a light pulse. Either that or maybe it's reflecting light from the sun. I just can't tell from this angle and with the footage we have. And so what was really intriguing to me was that when I was checking out some of his other videos, he has a few clips where it would appear that at certain times these objects that he's videoing will actually interfere with the camera causing it to momentarily malfunction. And let me tell you, it truly is eerie to watch. All right, so you're seeing the slow down version here and this is definitely strange. I mean, it, it looks like this camera is completely shorting out experiencing some sort of interference right as this object is passing by and this has been known to happen i can't tell you guys how many reports i've received where people will start recording an unknown object in the sky and sometimes almost immediately other times after they've recorded it for a few minutes their cameras their phones will start to malfunction their batteries will drain and in some instances will completely shut off and that's with a fully charged up battery. So now I want to show you another clip of yet another object where this time it almost appears as if a beam of light comes down from this object causing another strange interference event with the camera. So here we go. Alright, so happens really quick, but he's recording the UFO, and we see what almost looks like a, a wave of light passing over the camera. Well, the camera picks it up, and again, we see an instant glitching effect, uh, interference, whatever you want to call it. But it would appear that some of the things that this man is recording are creating some sort of magnetic anomaly. Maybe it has something to do with these light pulses. I don't know, but it does look like these things are interacting or at least observing some sort of control or effect on these cameras. Okay, so as you guys just saw, and I really don't think I need to explain any more than I did in that previous original video, but not only has this man been able to record some of these strange objects moving through space, but in some cases, these things will flash out what appears on camera to be a bright flash of light but it's not visible to the naked eye and that's what happened in this case and in many others these flashes of light if that's what they even are are only visible on these thermal and night vision and infrared cameras and so i'm not sure if, if it's a light if it is it's some sort of infrared light that we can't see with our naked eye that that jams these cameras for a moment and I don't know if that's to hide something that these UFOs are doing, but as you guys can see in this, this footage here, it, it, it jams the camera almost, and you can even see it glitching out the uh, time code up at the top. I mean, it totally jumbles up the entire recording from the camera. These things are interacting, guys. These things have the technology to shut down cameras, to shut down phones, to momentarily cause your equipment to glitch out. And this is some of the most amazing footage I've seen. So, you know, it's even more amazing and awesome to me that Cedric was able to sport the channel by going on to this TV show. And as well has all of this really awesome footage that you guys can go and check out. I'll post the link to his channel below. And um, all I can say is a big thank you to him and to everyone else who's been sending me images. A lot of new images lately of them sporting their shirts. Um, visiting Area 51, visiting uh, the Bermuda Triangle. I got a picture from a couple who was on like a ship and they were in the Bermuda Triangle. Um, I haven't heard from them since. Hopefully uh, they uh, got home safe. But I just want to thank everyone for supporting, for grabbing shirts, sending in pictures. It really truly is a movement here. And um, 
I think that goes to show how many eyes are opening up about this topic. So lastly today, before we go, I just want to feature another piece of footage of something that was caught on uh, International Space Station cameras passing through space at light speed, it almost appears, uh, posted by uh, Truth Seeker, who uh, I featured, I think, in a video last week, who has a real eagle eye at finding uh, strange things on the ISS cameras. So I want you guys to put your eyes right here where I have this arrow pointing. It happens very quickly, but uh, after it does, we will slow this down. Okay, so did you guys see it? If not... I will play it slowed down here, but uh, just above this uh, solar panel here, uh, we see a, a streak of light from something passing by in the background at an amazing speed. And uh, here is the still image of this object. Whatever it is, it's bright, it's emitting its own light, um, and uh, it's moving extremely fast. So uh, could this be an asteroid? Uh, could this be a comet, seeing as comets do have that sort of bright, long tail behind it? I don't know. This object, it, it seems to be moving so fast. I mean, it only appears in one frame that it makes me think that the, it may not be a comet. Because usually you can track comets and they, you know, they release a ton of gas and light. But this object is moving so quick that if you blink, you'd miss it. And if you guys will also notice here, it looks like there's a small uh, white object next to this tail coming off of it. So I don't know if that's just a, a low resolution glitch or another object. I don't know, but really awesome find. Total Eagle Eye by Truth Seeker. Really awesome. Thanks for sending this video over. You guys tell me what you think down below. And with that, I'm going to get back to work. I've got much more coming. A lot of stuff to catch up on, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to share it, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you all back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.